all I have to say about this. <laughs> hey, soul family. It's your girl, Bunny, here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. So we are going to do... I'm going to do something different today, okay? So, um, sorry, I'm on a squeaky chair. So if you hear this... Wait. <laughs> Ow, it just hit my knee. If you hear that, it's my chair. Okay. Um, so I have... We, we're going to do, first we're going to do a Divine Feminine reading and then we're going to do a Divine Masculine reading, okay? So we're going to connect to both um, sexes today. All right, not sexes, energies, sec, sexual energies, not sexual. <laughs> I can't, I can't right now. Oh my gosh. So both genders, and it's not about gender or sex. It's about the energy. So if you <laughs> if you um, relate more to the masculine, then you know that's okay. If you relate more to the feminine, it's going to be different for all of you. But so I went. I talked to my spirit guides today and my whole spirit team. I had this little bowl of beads, so or beads, charms. See. And I got all of the meanings for each of them. Um, I talked to my spirit team about what means what. So we're going to be using those in the reading. And I'm so excited about it. I also am going to be using some different decks than I normally use. So we're going to dive right in. Um, yes. What deck are we going to use first? So we're going to use the animal deck first. Um, and I've already invited all my spirit team in and created a protective bubble around us. So let's go ahead and dive right in. What animal totem spirit animal is assisting the divine feminine at this time? Connecting now to the divine feminines who are in a twin flame connection at this time. Now... If you also see this um, animal, you start seeing this animal um, often, this will be your confirmation as well that this message is for you, all right? Whether you're a feminine or a masculine, it doesn't matter. I will be tapping into the energy of your feminine and letting you know what signs she is seeing as well as what signs you will be seeing right okay so the animal crow oh how fitting so the crow is a messenger right we have the crow guys crow symbology is renewal transformation magic and abundance that's so crazy literally because I have been talking to a lot of the divine feminines right now. Sorry, I just I I'm sitting cross-legged now. <laughs> I decided to sit cross-legged. Um, I do this on every chair. It's like I'm meditating, permanent meditation. <laughs> All right, so a lot of the divine feminines right now are experimenting with their own magic, whether that be spell work, whether that is you know, abundance magic, like manifestation magic, you know, whether it's just listening to subliminals, affirmations, there's some form of magic in the air. And it's been confirmed a lot in my reality as well. It was funny, I was texting my dad today and he said to me, the lion's won. And I was like, what? <laughs> no way. I said, when pigs fly energy, right? Because the lions never win <laughs> and they won. And so I was like, there's magic in the air. There's, there's some kind of when pigs fly energy, like there's this energy around the divine feminine, like something unexpected happening, something that, that, you know, she doesn't expect happening coming in. So she's, she's in this very expectant energy of like, Ooh, there's a miracle underway. Do you know the way? <laughs> Cause she does. <laughs> She knows the way. 
<laughs> oh my God. She's also going through a heavy period of transformation. You know, she's getting rid of um, things that no longer serve her, relationships, um, friendships, um, and by relationships, I don't mean she's in a relationship. What I mean is she's cutting ties with people that she can tell are phony. All right. So she might be cleaning up her social media accounts. She might be cutting a lot of people out of her life. She might be cutting out toxic family members, um, toxic habits. That's where the whole transformational energy is coming in. All right. It's abundance. So... She's beginning to realize her birthright, which is abundance. She's beginning to discover her own magic. So she's living her life like she's the star of her own movie, okay? And it sure is shifting everything. You know, if she has blocks, she figures out a way to unblock herself. So, for example, earlier I purchased a reading from someone and I couldn't access the video. And I was like, oh, no, like, this is not happening. I'm like, I create my reality. This is not going to fly. <laughs> and I knew that spirit was blocking me for a specific reason. They didn't want me to know what was going on, right, with my masculine. So I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I know there's a message in here for me. And I specifically knew because... I had had, I had watched another reader and she had said something about there's an important message that will come through with someone and you'll know who that person is. And I immediately knew who she was. I immediately knew the other reader that I needed the message from. I just could feel it as I watched this, this reader and she did an extended reading and I said, I need to purchase this extended. I have to. And, you know, I don't, I don't do that very often because I'm a tarot reader. But a lot of the times when I go to read for myself, spirit will keep things for me. They'll block things for me purposely because they don't want me to know everything. And so I just knew that there was a message from this reader that I had to hear. And the funny thing was, they tried to block that too. I, there was so many, I, I used different browsers. I logged out, I logged back in, I restarted my phone. <laughs> nothing worked and I was so frustrated and I was like oh my gosh and then eventually what I did was I went into a meditation I did a meditation to clear any energy blocks and I talked to my spirit team and I said look I realize that there's some things that you don't want me to know but I have a right to know and I create my reality so we're gonna do this and when I got done with the meditation I tried a different method and boom there was the reading and I accessed it and I didn't have any any issues with it after that. So there it is. It's the divine feminine is stepping into her power and beginning to realize that she controls her reality and nothing can stop her, right? Okay, so this says, like the raven with, which is often synonymous. So a crow is, is like a raven. They're not the same, but... They have similarities. The crow wields powerful magic. I told you. In Native American myths, the crow restores order to the heavens. So some of you might have Native American roots or your person might. Or you both might. A siak sa Oh God, I'm gonna, I can't say this word. A siax, right? It's a Native American. S-I-O-U-X. Sue? It could be Sue. I don't want to say that wrong. Um, belief links the crow to abundance and prosperity. One legend tells of a white crow that warns the buffalo every time the hunters approach. This leads to hunger and starvation, and the crow is eventually captured by the hunters and thrown into a fire. Wow, so it's overgiving as well. But it escapes before being completely burned, being only blackened by the flames. Black becomes its permanent color. As the crow flees, it promises never to warn the buffalo of approaching hunters again. The crow is thus a kind of phoenix, wow, that rises from the ashes, symbolizing renewal, transformation, and the promise of abundance. So again, there's this energy of phoenix I've been channeling for quite a while. So if you've been seeing ravens or crows, that's a sign that this reading is for you and for your feminine, okay? If you're a masculine. All right, I'm going to pull from the Earth Magic deck. What do 
the masculines that are watching need to know, or if there's a feminine watching, um, doesn't matter. Although, if, if you are a feminine, I'm, I don't know why you would watch this, because <laughs> you pretty much know what energy you're in. Like, I do this more so for the masculine, so he can, like, peek in on his feminine, see what she's up to, um, kind of feel out her energy and what, how she's, you know, coping with life, right? All right. So tapping into the divine. I'm not saying that you can't watch it, feminines. I'm just saying, you know, it's more so the masculine can get some comfort for those of you that are in separation. Wow, so you're feminine. Oof, she's on fire, okay? She is experiencing a lot of sexual upgrades, a lot of sexual energy. Passion, we have fire and passion. So for some of you, like, she's she might be, like, looking at pictures of you and when you, you know, where you, maybe you're shirtless in some of the pictures. And she's feeling fired up, watching, like, looking at images of you. Like, maybe, I don't know, like, if you have videos on social media of yourself or you're shirtless or something, <laughs> she's peeked in on it. And it's driving her crazy, right? So she might be doing a little bit of watching and spying of her own. We all know that you, you guys are watching your feminines, but did you know that she probably does the same thing? right a little bit of spine and she thinks that your body's gorgeous she's really really turned on by it she thinks you know it fires her up it gets her going just like just like it does for you like when you look at pictures of her and you feel really you know lustful but also very like strong desire that magnetic pull to your twin flame because she is you and you are her right she feels the same way about you. Everything that you feel for her, she feels for you. So don't doubt that, okay? Just felt like saying that. We also have green men. Green men. <laughs> the green men. Aliens. <laughs> we have green man synergy. So there is a type of symbiotic relationship that goes on between you and her. So you guys are doing a lot of telepathic communication right now. Synergy is about working together. So you guys are both on the same page right now. Your feminine and you are both working together really hard doing the healing work so that you guys can find union together. Okay. So your bond right now is, is really strong. You guys might be doing the same type of meditations without even realizing it. The same type of twin flame meditations. Um, communicating with each other in your dreams and in your um, mind. Like literally you guys might be doing the same twin flame meditation on YouTube and not even realizing it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right, let's do. All right, we're going to do an astrology reading card. This one right here. Let's see, I don't know what's going to come out. I haven't used this deck very often, but I felt really guided by spirit to use this deck today. So we're going to dive in with it. What do we got? Right. What else did, does the Divine Feminine want her masculine to know? What does she want him to know? All right. Ooh. We have Aquarius. I felt like something else fell out. Did it? No. So this it says, This energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. You know, it's really important right now that I let you know that we are entering into the age of Aquarius. You know, for those of you who were born in the 1970s, excuse me, <laughs> you will remember um, the age of Aquarius, right? This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius from the movie Hair. Okay, so all that sort of rebellious, spiritual, new agey type energy, right? Um Things are shifting in a huge way, especially for the Twin Flames. 
Okay, this is the year where most of the twin flames are already in union, but some of you that are on a different timeline will slowly uh, find your way into union. Like, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. If you're here, then it's going to happen for you. So don't doubt that, okay? So let's... We're going to read... Aquarius energy is technological and visionary. It speaks of the future and has ideals about how much better that future can be compared with the past. So your feminine right now is there's a lot of things on her mind. She's focusing on her future, about what she wants that future to look like, about how she wants to assist humanity with her spiritual gifts and her spiritual work, right? Um, popular mythology, we just talked about this, has long talked about the coming of the age of Aquarius with its utopian vision of peace, freedom, and the united brotherhood of mankind. This energy is also known for its friendliness, camaraderie, and genuine interest in helping others. This zodiac sign bestows a rebellious need to break up the existing paradigms. Yes, go divine feminine and replace them with new thinking. So don't be surprised if you find yourself wanting to get on a soapbox and address a Greenpeace rally at this time. So again, the feminine is working to completely remove herself from the old paradigms. She's literally breaking through the timelines. She's, um, she might be like rallying for humanitarian efforts just as you are right you guys are both humanitarians you both have these same core values of wanting to bring peace wanting to awaken people right you have a shared spiritual vision the energy values freedom above all else and time spent alone is never a problem <laughs> so that, yeah enough said the feminine is very comfortable right now being alone She's not feeling this need to like, <sighs> she's interested in love, right? But she doesn't feel the need to be in a relationship. Does that make sense? She's in this energy of like, if it happens, it happens. But right now she's feeling very accepting, right? accepting of herself and her situation she's at peace with her life it says having said that um acquaintances are important as long as they do not make emotional demands so you know your feminine right now her freedom is is everything for her she doesn't want anyone making demands on her time she does things on her own time right so freedom is probably important to both of you. It's like you want to, if you're in a relationship, you want to be able to be free. You want to be able to feel free and then still be able to come back together in love, right? Isn't that the perfect relationship? Okay, so it says information, technology, and science may not be your usual choices, but with this energy around you, you're encouraged to investigate how you can use them to your advantage like for example if you guys there's some distance between you you can use the apps to like video chat right to, to bring each other closer numerology and astrology may also be interesting there's a fixed quality to this energy and it can make one quite stubborn and intransient for although the Aquarian mantra is about change, Aquarius wants to change the rest of the world and does not want to change itself. <laughs> Those who are Aquarian in nature are very good at telling everyone else how to transform, but they're completely unwilling to accept any advice themselves. <laughs> oh man, you may encounter madcap or eclectic people at this time, or perhaps you decide to go through a hippie or new age thing yourself. For whatever else can be said about the Aquarius energy, it appeals to single-minded individualists who are not afraid to be different. Now go find your captain and play cards. Play cards. Let's see, can you guys see that? 
placards. I have no idea what that is or that. So look it up. So let me show you the first word again. Caftan placards. If you masculines are watching this and you figure out what the hell it is and what it means, please put a comment in the description box below because I have no idea. But I want to go find those. <laughs> All right. What a beautiful energy. All right. So. Okay. Let's get a whisper of love card and then we'll end with the tarot. Okay. Ouchie. Ouchie. No, we're going to end with the Unicorn Oracle. But let's let's pull a Whispers of Love card first. I think I just got paper cut by that damn deck. What happened? Wow. All right. So let's see what your Divine Feminine is feeling right now in regards to the Whispers of her heart. Okay. So, what do the masculines need to know about this connection? Okay. From their feminines. Ooh, that card popped out. All right. It says number... I wanted to say 17. So, that might resonate with someone. 37. Act as if your partner is here. Dance by yourself. <laughs> Whether you have someone in your life or not, masculines, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. All right. So this is about the first law of manifestation. And it is this. Act as if it already is, masculines. This is going to sound really crazy. But if your feminine is doing this, she's smart because she knows that acting as if it's already hers by acting she already has union she already has union <laughs> and you need to act accordingly as well so this is what your feminine is doing she's actively manifesting your union she's smart she is looking at her bed and imagining you in that bed laid there cuddled up caked up with her you need to do the same thing look at your bed and say there's my baby. There's my boo. Smack your pillow and pretend like it's her ass. <laughs> Seriously. I don't say these things just to be funny. There is proof in the pudding that this stuff works. And your feminine knows it. She's tapping into it. What was the first card we drew? Active manifestation. Magic. That stuff shifts timelines. Okay? Okay. So if you're going out for some coffee, turn to your imaginary twin flame. And remember, she's always with you. Even if you can't see her, you guys are one. She is literally you, okay? You're connected by that silver cord. It's never not connected. You're always connected. So talk to her. When you go to get coffee, turn and say, babe, what kind of coffee you want? And I bet you 110%, if I'm wrong, then I'm then you know I'm dead right I bet you I bet you you will hear the answer in your head because you guys are able to telepathically communicate you have to know that this is real this connection's real she talks to you all the time she tells you what type of panties she likes to wear what what likes to wear she tells you what type of panties she panties she likes to wear she tells you how she likes her coffee. She tells you what time she meditates. She tells you what time she wakes up. She tells you all sorts of things. Are you listening? So pretend like you're already in union. Consider her. So when you go out the house, turn to the empty house and say, I'll be back at 8 o'clock, baby. All right? And we're going to have dinner. We're going to have candlelit dinner. We're going to have a glass of wine. I'm going to rub your shoulders get your mind out of the gutter <laughs> all right manifest the frick out of her because that's what she's doing y'all got to be on the same page and you're probably already doing this anyways because you guys are always on the same page seven and three add it up what does it add up to masculines ten what is ten i'm sorry i'm not <laughs> I'm yelling. I'm yelling at you. 
Sorry. I'm heated up. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. Woo! Are you fired up for her? 10 is the number of a fresh start, new beginnings. 2024 is the year that you go into union with your baby. So claim it. She is. Why aren't you? Number 10. Number 10. Okay. I'm drinking peppermint tea out of my cock cup. cock a doo <laughs> From those of you that used to watch me when I used to stay in the hotel, when I had nowhere to live, right? Do y'all remember my cock cup? I bought that when I was in my first dark night of the soul. I didn't have my children with me. I had gotten them taken away from me, from their dad. I was alone. I was homeless. I was in a hotel. <laughs> And I was still reading for y'all. Okay, where is my loyal ones that remember me in the hotel room? I bought that cock cup because it made me laugh. Because it was it was a rooster on it. And I had my mind in the gutter. I said, that is my cock cup right there. Because your girl loves the eggplant. <laughs> or I used to anyways. <laughs> I mean, I still do. But I just, I've been celibate for a year and let's see. Oh, God. A really long time. <laughs> Over a year. Okay. Almost two years now. I think it's been like a year and six months. So almost two years. When I got serious about the twin flame journey, I started being celibate. I stopped dating and I just focused on my spiritual journey. And that's where I'm at right now. That's what all your divine feminines are doing, by the way. If they're serious about the twin flame journey, they're celibate. They're not dating anyone. They're um, saving it for you. Saving it for you, daddy. <laughs> all right. We are um, in the mermaid deck. All right. Let's see. We'll end with a charm. I keep saying we're going to end with something. We're going to end with the unicorn oracle. I mean... A charm. We'll do the you. You're <laughs> cannot talk today. Uh, we're gonna do the unicorn oracle and then a charm. So your feminine might be like feeling out of sorts. Seven of swords. We have loss. So your divine feminine is feeling a little bit manipulated. She feels like. Maybe like you were trying to manipulate the energy to get what you want. But here's the thing, masculines. You cannot get something out of your feminine by manipulating her. You know, you have to come authentically. You have to say, this is how I feel. Because she's not going to understand. She's not going to play by the, the games, the, the old relationship games, right? She's too smart for that. She's too intuitive for that. So you try to manipulate the energy or trying to give her hints by, you know, I don't know what you're doing. There's some energy of manipulation. You can't give her hints by sending her things. You have to come straight the fuck out and you have to spell it out for her. You have to be authentic. You have to go into your heart of hearts and say, I fucked up. I this. I'm that. I'm in love with you. I'm feeling you. I know who you are. I remember you. You have to come real. Because she is too intuitive to accept anything else. See, look. The high priest wisdom. I told you. She's not going to accept you in any energy other than your high priest energy. Right? She's the high priestess. Right? She's the, in, the intuitive one. She's the one that listens to spirit. She probably does tarot. She probably listens to spirit guides. She probably meditates every night. She's very spiritual, as you are as well. If you're here and you're watching me, good old bunny, then you're spiritual as F, okay? You're probably gangsta too, but <laughs> you're also spiritual as F. And so you're intuitive. And you already know you have to come at your feminine with your highest vibration, because she's not going to accept your low vibe shit. She's not going to accept your manipulating you trying to make her jealous or you, you know, 
whatever it is that you think you're doing, trying to make her jealous, trying to make her think you're with other people, trying whatever it is, okay? Whatever way you're trying to manipulate her into coming forward or admitting how she feels, it's not going to work. She's too intuitive for that, and you already know that. So she needs you to be in your high priest energy. She needs you to intuit how she feels. So you don't fuck this up. You have to come in at an energy when she's receptive. And you have to be receptive too. Five of Wands. Competition. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. See, masculines. You better step it up. Because there's competition in the running. Oh, man. Don't. Don't. Don't F around and find out, okay? Don't think for one second that some of these feminines are not settling for a soulmate because they're 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 tired of it. There's competition. There's competition. The the literal card says competition. Let me show you. Let me show you. Competition. Okay, there's other masculines looking at her. Of course they are. She's fly as F. Hello? Hello, McFly. If you're not stepping up, you're stepping down. Damn. That's rough. I'm sorry, Spirit, I had to come with that message for y'all, but somebody apparently needs to hear it. You're going to have to use your intuition to get to this one. She's your twin flame, right? See? King of Cups, you have to come with understanding. You have to wear your heart on your sleeve. Okay? Ten of Swords, we have endings. Ten is also about completion, right? Something had to be completed. Something had to end. For your feminine. Wow. But look. She bounced back. Something was taken away from her. As I'm sure something was taken away from you. You guys both had something. Taken away from, from you. Right? But look, we have Four of Swords recovery. Boom. She's found balance again. Four of Swords is about rest, meditation, going within. She's done a lot of spiritual jumping. By spiritual jumping, I mean she, she might have been at a lower vibration, but now... Something has shifted in her. She's done the work. She's really, really, really buckled down and got serious about her spiritual work. I mean, she might be literally met. Her vibration's so high. She's like, you're going to have to meet her at her vibe, guys. Wow. She's all up in the 60, huh? For sure. Wow, look, two of swords, crossroads. A decision needs to be made. She's going to make a decision. She's going to make a decision really soon. If you don't come forward, she's going to make a decision. She's going to make a decision to either move on, if she hasn't already, to go on to a soulmate, maybe. I don't know. Either way, there's crossroads. Last night, I was doing a personal reading for myself from... Oh, God, I don't even know what deck it was, but I got Crossroads. The energy's accurate. It's accurate because that I got that card for myself. And I, I was, wasn't sure what Crossroads meant, so I looked it up. The definition was you come to a point in your life where you need to make a vital decision. A decision which is going to change your life. You have two different paths. And somehow this decision is going to impact your life. So you better choose wisely, right? And so your feminine knows she's at this crossroads in her life. And she's trying to decide what path is the best path for her. 
Because she's focused on herself. You best believe she is. She's trying to find the right path, the right spiritual path to open up her life to all the good teens. Okay, one more card from this deck. We're moving on, Spirit, to the other tarot. Right? All right. Ace of Swords, victory. Wow. Ace of Swords is also about communication. So for some of you that are in separation, you might be communicating with each other really soon. This is about clarity. But it's also, it's victory. Your Divine Feminine is, is victorious right now in anything she does. Everything she touches is turning to gold. I have to pee really bad. I might have to pause this because I just, <laughs> just drank a whole cup of peppermint tea. I love peppermint tea. I love tea. I drank peppermint tea, but I also drank, I also, I mixed two different teas. I put peppermint tea and I also put third eye chakra tea. I mean, why did I say third eye? I didn't mean to say third eye. I meant to say throat chakra tea. So for some of you, there might be something about your third eye. Like your feminine is probably working really hard. She's not only is her third eye open, but it's like open. Okay, <laughs> she can see everything now. She can see through your bullshit too. <laughs> she knows you want to touch it. <laughs> she knows you're just lying when you don't speak to her and you ignore her and you're acting all bougie and cold. She knows that you really want to touch it. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody. All right, so here's the thing. I mixed peppermint tea and I mixed um, throat chakra tea. So I'm speaking my truth right now. So everything that is coming out of my mouth is the truth as I know it on God, how the divine feminine is feeling and what she's going through. For those of you that are on this timeline with me, that have taken this journey with me from the fucking beginning, okay? Since I started this channel in 2018, I believe. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull one card from here and then I'm going to pause it so I can go potty and then we're going to come back and continue. <laughs> oh my gosh. King of Wands. Oof, look at that. Ooh. So there's a lot of sexual energy swirling around your feminine right now. I keep feeling this energy of competition too, like the masculines. She might not be interested in, in them, right? She, I know that she isn't, but here's the thing. I feel like some of the feminines have been tempted. Like, you know, when the alpha males come around, they can see through all their bullshit, right? But they've been tempted. I feel like some of them have been tempted because they also realize while they can see all the masculine's intentions crystal clear, they know who, who's genuine and who just wants pussy, right? Though they can sense what the masculines want right off the bat when they come in and whether they're genuine or not, or whether they want something from them, some of them have been tempted. For this reason alone, let me tell you, because the divine feminine also understands we are in this life for just a short amount of time, right? In this life. Yes, we have many lifetimes and many different timelines and many different dimensions. And we experience different lifetimes, right? Time is linear, right? She knows that. But she also knows that she'll never experience this moment in time again. It's just a blip on the radar, and she wants to live her life to the fullest. She wants to live her best life. And in order to do that, is is she going to sit there and just be celibate and get crusty? <laughs> or is she going to have fun? She's going to live her best life. Is she going to spread her legs for someone so she can have some fun? I don't know. Is she tired of being celibate? I don't know. You tell me, masculines. 
I'm going to pause it so I can use the bathroom. <laughs> this reading is getting super long. I was just, it was so funny as I was sitting there and I was taking a pee, right? I, I, I felt like this really strong energy of like, when I was talking about, you know, <laughs> about the feminine, like being with someone else other than her masculine, like I felt this this energy of like possessiveness. It was funny. Like, so here's the energy that came through. I felt like this clenching of like my jaw, like, like, you know how when a masculine gets upset or gets like, there's something he doesn't like and it creates tension in his body, but like, he doesn't want anybody to know that. So he like tenses up, he like clenches his jaw and his hands like get into fists, right? Right. <laughs> And it's like when they're trying to hold back their anger or they're like their strong emotion, right? And I was laughing to myself because I'm like, this is so why is the masculine feeling possessive and jealous of his feminine, right? The thought of her being with someone else. And I was talking to my spirit guides and I'm like, okay, they realize that, you know, energies like jealousy and stuff are, are like lower vibrational energies. And this is the answer I got from spirit. Though the masculines understand because they're so enlightened and they understand the duality between these emotions, right? The lower vibrational emotions. Just because they understand that these are lower vibrational emotions doesn't mean that they don't at sometimes experience them. And so... When they experience these emotions, it's like, it's almost like a shock to their system, but it's spirit's way of testing them and to see if they're worthy for, you know, this type of union, because of course we're going to, we're humans, right? We're going to feel these emotions. He immediately felt that surge of jealousy, but did he respond with it or did he say, okay, the test here is when they feel it, do they acknowledge it? Do they process it? Because that's what this journey is about, right? Processing and healing those emotions. So when he feels it, does he allow himself to get all alpha and macho about it? Or does he take a deep breath and go, damn, I really don't like the thought of her being with anyone else. And does he ask himself why? And does he, what is he doing about those emotions, right? That's the question. But there's a lot of masculines. There's a lot of strong sexual masculine energy around your feminine at this time. And I channeled it in the last read and that hasn't changed. A lot of masculines are starting to notice the feminines because they're feeling that she's in her full power. And it drives them nuts. They don't understand it. And especially the unawakened ones. They don't get it. They're like drawn to her light she's attracting a lot of attention so your divine feminine is learning to be grateful for the things in her life we got four of cups usually it's this energy of feeling like bored or ungrateful but this is the opposite with the feminines like she's learning to be grateful right and look we have seven of swords again. So this is the energy of manipulation again. She's, the reason she's so grateful is because she realizes now she can see through the bullshit. Nobody can manipulate her. Okay? That's the feeling coming off strongly off these cards. She knows now that if you try to come in and try to manipulate the situation somehow, she's not going to give in. You have to come with a real authentic heart. All right, let's get three more cards and then we're going to be done. Wow, six of cups. So both of you, the feminine might be feeling a little bit nostalgic. She might be going through her text messages that if you guys have were in contact at one time, she might be looking back at messages that you guys sent each other and you're doing it as well. It's a shared energy. Eight of Cups. Wow. But here's the thing. She's. 
she's in an energy of letting go like she's willing to let you go that's the thing she's not afraid to move on oh man you better be careful masculines look at this there's the energy of being nostalgia but this is the energy of moving on this is i like to call this the breakup card it's the eight of cups it's when you you let go of something and walk away from it and you you you're sad about it but you still walk away Some of these feminines are saying, okay, well, if this isn't going to happen, I'm just going to find a soulmate. And to hell with the journey, right? Although the journey, no matter what, you guys can never get rid of each other. The bond will always be there. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> but if she focuses on herself, the masculine's not going to like it. I'll tell you that much. Look, nine of cups. This is a wish coming true. Take it out resonates. I'm not sure what that means. But, you know, it goes to stand. We don't even have to say it. You guys are both each other's wish fulfillment, right? It's a given. If, you know, this is your feminine. This is your person. <laughs> it's your twin flame. So, all right. We're going to grab a unicorn oracle card. Today's readings get super long. I'm sorry about that. Put aside some time to watch your girl. Because I'm always going to steer you down the highest path of ascension. I have the purest intentions when I connect to source God. And everyone that knows me knows that nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elementals. Ooh, we. Someone needs some time in nature. I will not be doing this because it is, it is too damn cold. I don't care. <laughs> we have snow here. We got like three to six inches where I am in Michigan. It is cold. Not going outside. I will do some grounding from some YouTube videos or something. I'm not going to go outside. I don't care. <laughs> I refuse to. I'm like a bear in the winter. I hibernate. I have to go outside tomorrow, though, because I'm getting an oil change on my car. All right. Let's pull some charms for you guys. Ooh, wee. Oh, my goodness. So we have the fish. I don't know. The fish means. I wrote down. So before all of this happens... I talked to my spirit guides and I got the answers of what they wanted these charms to mean and I wrote them all down. So we have the lips. Car. Okay. So the lips. I don't see fish on here right now yet. Where is the fish? Where is the fish? Tree. Dice. Lips. Well, I see lips. Lips. It says kissing or wanting to. Ooh, okay. Sorry. I read that wrong. Kissing or to be kissed. And communication. Wow. I just said that. So for those of you that are not in communication with your twin, looks like we have communication coming up. Okay. And we have the lips. Oof, you're you're feminine. She's she likes your lips. She wants you to kiss her. She's been fantasizing about you kissing her lips. Of course she is. All right. The fish is ooh, claiming you or feeling possessive of you. <laughs> so there is the mutual possessiveness, right? So I have meanings of like love reading meanings so when i do these reads and then i also have the meanings that are like non-love the love version of these the you know these two charms i read them to you so she's feeling very possessive of you as well she wants you to claim her she wants to be yours she knows that you're feeling possessive of her and that you want to claim her and she wants you to she wants you to claim her She's saying she's yours. She's saying, where are you? Why haven't you claimed me? Okay. 
She wants to be claimed. You want to claim her and you're feeling possessive of her? She wants to be claimed. We have the car. Da 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 da. It's a pink one. <laughs> um, we have a visit from your person. No freaking way. So if you're thinking of driving out to see her or to visit her, there's your confirmation. She's waiting for you to make that leap, to roll that dice. Take the leap of faith. And then you guys will do some kissing. Probably some fucking too. All right. So we're going to end with the secrets of her heart. What she wants to tell you, divine masculine, but she hasn't had a chance to, right? Because it's not the right time, right? If it was the right time, you wouldn't be watching me. <laughs> You'd be knee deep in your feminine. <laughs> so, if she's a true feminine, she might not have told you all of this stuff because the feminines are the receivers, right? She may have conveyed it to you in other ways, though, but she probably won't come right out and say it. I mean, she gives you unconditional love, but she's not going to straight out and say it like, you know. I want you inside of me or whatever. <laughs> All right. So the first card we have is I long to taste you. Oof. Oof. So this is mutual. So if you have a thing for, you know, oral sex, she has it too. You guys both have, um, you guys, oh, what's the word? You guys both have a, a strong um, love of this to taste each other so if you're each other's mirror your twin flame is you if you really really love oral sex she does too hell yeah she does she's you i can't believe i let you get away what was i thinking so she's asking herself why did you screw this up <laughs> She can't believe that you let her walk away from you. She's saying, oh, boy, are you crazy? You let me walk away from you? <gasps> oh, my God. She's also asking, like, how? How could you guys let each other go? It doesn't feel natural. You know? And look, I told you she's thinking this. You want to possess her? You want to claim her? You're like, that's mine. That's mio. That's mio. Right? That's yours. I'm yours. She's saying she's yours. She's yours. Are you going to claim her, masculines? Are you? Mio in Spanish means mine. I put a post up on my Instagram and it said something about mio. If you follow me on Instagram, you should see it was a funny, it was a really funny post where this girl was talking about how this man was fine. <laughs> and, you know, she's saying, and he's mine. He's meal, right? Because I know damn well my twin flame is fine as fuck. I don't know about y'all's, but <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Spirit revealed to me who he is. I know who he is now. All right, and I bet you all your feminines, all the feminines know who their twin flames are. It was revealed to us all, pretty much, if you're watching this. She knows who you are. Do you know who she is, is the question. All right, I love y'all. I hope that something in this video, fit y'all. <laughs> I hope something in this video resonated. If it did, please, 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 hit the like button. Help your girl out, okay? I'm trying to be famous. <laughs> all right share with all your divine masculines who are also confused about what the frick is going on with their counterparts okay if you're trying to spy on your feminine you know i got you here we are we're spying okay we're doing it together um what else if you want to book a reading with me click on the description box all my prices are below i'm worth it definitely 
you know, you can talk to the masculines who've already purchased readings with me, okay? I do most of the time have a waiting list. I don't right now. So if you want to book a reading, now's the time to book it because I don't have a waiting list. That's very rare. I normally have a waiting list, <laughs> but I don't have one anymore. I'm caught up. So book your reading with me. Go to a Goldie appointment fix. Um, there's a lot of ways to support me, okay? I have two tip jars. You can utilize them. I have Cash App and PayPal. Also, um, what else? What else? I have a Patreon page. It's $5 a month. If you want to support me monthly, I would appreciate it so much. I love you guys so much. I hope you masculines are doing fine and doing well. I love you. I love you. You know, Bonnie loves you. <laughs> Bye.